Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome welcome back to Just Ask Glory. Um, so, right now is 5.19pm, uh, um, um, I'm going to do what I did last time, I'm going to put the, put the time somewhere on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, so what I did was basically, I, like I did last time, I took pictures of everyone's uh, questions. Uh, for this video and I mixed them up so uh, so that way you know it's not you know one from one person to the other it you know it's random <laughs> so yeah okay first question is from Jocelyn Wayne what is your favorite movie I would say my favorite movie is basically the one of the Halo movies that was uh, that was um, that came out. I think it was in 2013 or or somewhere before that. Um, the movie is called uh, Halo uh, Unfor Dawn. It's it's a really good movie. It's it's basically uh, it's basically based on on uh, these uh, these cadets are becoming a are becoming troopers. Uh, you know, I uh, getting trained to become troopers for the you want to see, and and the main char the main the main character the main protagonist is uh, oh man I haven't watched the movie for well I haven't watched the movie for a long time so. Uh, Lackey, I think his name is. Lackey, something. I think it's Lackey. I think. Or something like that. Well, um, or Lucky. I think it's Lackey or Lucky. One. Well, um, it's, what the movie is is basically him flashing back back then when uh, when he was just a cadet before he became the. Um, the captain of Infinity. The you wanna see uh you wanna see affinity? So yeah. It, it was actually a really cool um uh, cool um uh, back uh back in the future stuff. <laughs> uh well not in the future, but you know what I mean. Like back in the past. Yeah. So yeah. And uh, if you haven't seen Unfort Done yet I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's really cool. All right, another one from Jocelyn Wayne. If you could be any MLP character, what what will you be? Um, I wouldn't say. Uh, so what do you think? Whatever. That's who, 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 who do you think I would be? We'll have a discussion later. Okay. Um. Apparently, it would be. Uh, apparently, it would be. Um, really? Are you serious? Are you serious? <sighs> do I do I have to actually say his name? Okay. Well, according to Rainbow Dash here, I would be basically Soren. I don't know why, but apparently I I would be Soren. According to Rainbow Dash. Like I said. We're gonna have a discussion later. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. <laughs> all 
<laughs> okay. So uh, next question is from Once TV. Once TV asked me, um, what did you felt like when you first saw the first person shooter mode in GTA 5? Oh shit. <laughs> I was amazed. No, I was literally amazed to see an actual fun shooter mode in GTA 5. I mean, it was so amazing to me. I always literally fell off the chair because I literally got so hyped up about it. I'm like, well, if you guys ever seen Apple Geeks videos and him seeing getting all excited about about uh, about stuff that's going on in, in the MLP universe, well. His reaction was basically my reaction to GTA 5. I mean, holy shit. I was so amazed and excited. I literally fell off my bed because I don't have a bed. I, I'm because I don't have a chair and my bed's next to my uh, TV. So, yeah. I get to be comfortable while playing the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I was actually really 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 excited about it so yeah <laughs> all right gotta check to see if there was any okay no ads okay cool um when will we okay this question is from the same guy uh once once tv Oops. when will you be making a gameplay of video of GN, uh, GTA San Andreas. Well, I haven't really come to think about San Andreas. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like I like that game. That was actually the first game I ever played when I got hooked to GTA. But um, I think I will. Probably, that didn't really cross my mind. Man, yeah, probably sometime in the in the future, I'll probably play it, or I'll probably put it into the voting game when I start. Uh, probably gonna be playing another game soon. Um, I'm not really sure as much. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like San Andreas, and I do like, uh, and I do like the, um, the story mode, too, so, um, yeah, maybe. Maybe I will, uh, probably, like, I don't know, probably in two months, maybe, I'm not really sure, because I want to get through other games before I start playing San Andreas, I mean... There's other there's other games I I am gonna be probably be playing before I do uh, San Andreas because I want to do uh, San Andreas on a special kind of day instead of um, you know way out of blue so probably I don't know probably on Father's Day I'll start playing it or something I'm not really sure um, so yeah okay the next question is from the same guy once TV what is your opinion about Spartan Locke uh, misbehaving with Master Chief uh, <laughs> um, once TV what is going through your mind right now when you ask that question <laughs> I mean I mean are you talking are you thinking about about them uh, Arguing it uh, about them being coming enemies at first and then second they became buddies or Are you thinking what I think you were thinking? <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned about you my friend a little bit concerned <laughs> uh, Um. Well My opinion with uh, I'm just gonna say the first, uh, the second thing to what I think you were thinking. Um, well, with Spartan, Spartan Locke, um, 
and Master Chief becoming enemies at first time was actually kind of actually kind of was I was kind of um I kind of knew it was gonna happen because it, 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 they actually had that in the uh, in the um, previews when they started to uh, make the game apparently apparently in the game itself they had uh, uh, Spartan Lock and Master Chief uh, fighting each other um, but then uh, but what really didn't get me was at the end they started becoming best buddies because uh, Master Chief finally finds out that <coughs> oh sorry about that uh, it's dusty down here so um yeah um so um because of uh of Master Chief learning about Cortana being dangerous and Master Chief was like yeah all right I trust you now. Uh, maybe we should work together to stop Cortana before she wipes out the whole entire uni uh, human race and and yada yada. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um, so my opinion, it was it was all right. I mean, the story kind of sucked in my in my opinion. It kind of it just didn't really it just just didn't really cope with me. I mean. I mean, when it started, I was like, "Oh, okay, let's see how this plays through." And then when I then when I got to the end, I was like, "Ah, shit." I mean, the the um, it was just basically the acting and the other stuff that was going on. I mean, it just I didn't really I just it didn't really cope with me. That's all. So I would say. Uh, it was all right. <laughs> okay. All right. Next question is from John Edward Wade. All right, John. Let's see what you asked. <laughs> okay, so John asked, In your opinion, what is the most cringiest thing? Maybe a person. An honest answer. All right. My honest answer is basically the most cringiest thing. I basically have three cringiest, the most three cringiest things that I know that really makes me cringe is basically noises from styrofoam. This makes my skin crawl. And every time when I hear it, it just makes me go shake and stuff and whoo, it's not comfortable and then um then with the cardboard especially with cardboard when the cardboard squeaks it's just ooh. like anything with high pitched noises i cannot handle i mean anything with with high frequencies i mean with very very high pitch like when a when, like a girl scream like a little girl screams, oh god, it hurts my ears, or like a um, or like your annoying coworker screams in the echoey room, Ooh, just yeah, it just makes me want to get out of the damn room. So yeah, um, so uh, and the other cringiest thing is basically when you try to uh talk to someone and they appear to be mm, what to say not the brightest globe in the in the town <laughs> so yeah that's basically uh, the most cringiest things I can't really handle <sighs> so yeah all right Next question is from an is from the same guy, John Edward Wade. So um he asked me, what is your best moments in GTA 5 or maybe online? <laughs> oh man. 
if I if I had to write you a book, I would literally write you the book of how many of how many um of how many best moments I have on GTA five. I mean holy cow. Um but my most favorite was in the story mode of GTA five. Um when uh when <laughs> Michael called uh, Trevor a hipster, <laughs> called him a proto hipster. <laughs> It was so funny. I mean, I mean, I mean, nowadays, like, if you call someone a hipster, they get so offended. But still, it's, it's funny. I mean, I mean, if you look at everyone in my, in my area, in my location, there's a bunch of hipsters where we, where I live at. I mean, holy cow. Hipsters with man buns, hipsters with, with leggings. Yeah, apparently over here. There's guys wearing leggings. If you ever seen the cringiest thing, that would probably make you cringe even more. <laughs> so yeah. Um so basically So basically um that was basically my most favorite moment on on GTA 5 was when Michael called Trevor a hipster while we were going when when we were trying to do a mission it was funny um and my most recent online best moment was basically I was trying to uh get away from a couple co police cars and somehow I ended up in Somehow I ended up in the ocean. I don't know how. I just the car flipped and I was in the ocean. So, yeah, that's Larry logic for you. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Okay. Another one from uh, from John. What is your first console and game? The first console was basically the original Nintendo. Um, I will I will put a picture of it on on it. Uh, I'll put a picture up somewhere on this side or this side or in the middle. Um, the original Nintendo was basically uh, it used to belong to my mother. Um, my mom had it since she was I don't know. I think somewhere in her 40s. Well, she's in her 60s now, so it's yeah, she had it for a long time. It's a it was a pretty old uh system. So, uh yeah, and the very first game I played on there was was basically uh Super Mario and Donkey Kong. Well, Donkey Kong was my most favorite game to ever play cuz I always loved to be uh the gorilla guy. Uh, smashing the bad guys, ki killing the lizard guys, and throwing barrels at the lizard guys and stuff, and then riding a uh, a uh, the riding the riding the uh, rhinoceros. Ah, uh, good times. And then there was also Dinky Dinky Cone with the mini with the monkeys, with the male monkey and the and the female monkey. Oh man. Those were the good old days. That was back when the games were actually uh, were actually uh, actually very ragey. <laughs> I mean, I mean that was back when the when the games were making were would make you rage uh, big time. I mean, so so much ragier than trying to get than uh, try to get over it. And no, I'm never playing that game. Don't you guys ask me to play that game. If you ask me to play that game, I swear to God, I am not going to be happy. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Okay. The next question is from Doomslayer. Well, Doomslayer asked me, what was the most brutal, brutal and badass game you ever played? Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha! The most brutal, 
game I ever played was, <laughs> believe it or not, was basically Dead Island. Dead Island was the most brutalist uh, game I ever played. And the other most brutalist game I ever played was um, was Call of Duty Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That was the most brutalist game I ever played. I mean holy shit. When you use a shotgun and you shoot the bad guys, the arms get blown off and you see their arms on the ground. Holy cow. And that's only when you do it on normal setting. Or hardcore or the hardest setting. You get to see their body parts go all over the place. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, if you guys play Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2... You will see why I mean. Just shoot them, just shoot them, shoot them in their arms, and their arms just fly off. Literally, I mean, holy cow. Um, if you use a shotgun, mostly, mostly if you use a shotgun, it it, it works, or a grenade. <laughs> That's the most brutal <laughs> and gruesomeness game I ever played. Okay. And another one from Doom Slayer. What is your favorite Call of Duty game and why you like it? Again, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The um, reason why I like uh, I like it was basically it had amazing story back it, uh, behind it. Uh, it had a really good story mode. Um, and and with, the, with the characters too. I mean, the beginning of it be began as had began as you know basically in the Vietnam days I think somewhere in the Vietnam days yeah I believe I believe it's somewhere at the Vietnam days because I remember we had to save uh, what's his face from from a jungle and I know that was that had to be a Vietnam because because in in World War two there was no helicopters there was just only uh there were just only planes, so there's uh there was helicopters in this one, so so you knew this has to be a Vietnam at at least, and um yeah, it was amazing. I loved it, and that reminds me, I'm probably gonna probably play it play it for this channel probably one day, and it'll be amazing. All right, Doom Slayer. Also asked me, do you like Western, uh, Western, pro Western? Uh, I'll be honest with you, Doom. I do not. I mean, I used to a long time ago, but um, now, now everything is just fake. I mean, long time ago, back when Lick Frayer was around, Stain was around, and all the old guys like Hulk Hogan and stuff. That was all real. I mean, the blood was real. The fight was real. I mean, the blood is real in the pro in the in in there right now. But but what? But they're not actually hurting each other too badly enough for them to bleed. To bleed uh, horribly. I mean, um, back back then. That was when it's like a little bit more gruesomer and more hardcore. Now it's just... Eh, 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 you know? Like that. That, I, that, yeah, nah. That's the reason why I don't really like it <laughs> as much. So, yeah. Alright. Another one from Once TV. Who do you think is better? Red team or blue team from Halo. Oh, if you guys are, if you're thinking about the series, um, blue versus red or red versus blue or, uh, or if it's the other way around, I would say, I would say red, I would say red team because, um, because Griff is actually my most favorite 
my most favorite character in the in that series because he is so freaking funny and even though he's an asshole but still he's really funny i mean uh and including sarge sarge he's like a mentally he's like a mentally ill uh uh a psychopathic leader this doesn't have nothing else to do but harass the blue team <laughs> it's it's really funny and uh and when uh simon tries to uh cope with griff and griff is like the lazy guy and simon gets all upset about it <laughs> it's funny uh it, that was actually a really good series i mean i mean the series is still going on now but i mean i stopped watching it when i got to the um uh, season 15 um because after the season 15, one of the guys had passed, uh, one of the animators. I forgot his name, but he was behind all the action scenes and stuff. Uh, I forgot his name. His name will probably, I'll probably put his name in the, in the caption somewhere. So, yeah. Um, alright. Another one from Jocelyn Wayne. What do you like to do on your free time? Well, I like to draw. I like to create my own stories, write my own stories. I like to create my um, my own music, and I like to uh, to create uh, science fiction uh, weaponry and and armor and other stuff, props. You 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 uh, you name it. Um, and the weaponry are props. They're not real. I mean, they are made from Nerf, nerf blasters. I mean, they could still shoot, shoot, but uh, they're not deadly. I mean, they're like just those foam darts. But just be careful because if you shoot them in someone's eye, then yeah, that will hurt them. But still, it's it's not really lethal. Um, and then sometimes I like to go uh, paintballing, which is an amazing sport. And... Uh, when you uh, do uh, paintballing, it's like you're in, a, in an actual uh, first-person shooter game. I mean, it's amazing. Like in your, you're like in a real-life first-person shooter game, wearing a mask and with the gun in your hand. Ah <laughs> uh, man. Um, back at the course I used to play at, it was like uh like one of those levels from uh, COD. Uh, I forgot I forgot what's the uh, what's COD, but I knew it was like. Basically, like COD with all the cars flipped up, upside down, and bringing up cars and stuff, and buildings starting to collapse. It was amazing. All right. All right. Josh and Wayne ought to ask me, who do you like to hang out with? Friends? Mostly my friends, family, my girlfriend, and other stuff. And yes, if you guys are wondering who Jocelyn Wayne is, she's my girlfriend. So, so yeah. Okay. What is your favorite holiday to celebrate with your loved ones? And this is the same one from Jocelyn Wayne. Um, Halloween. Halloween is my most favorite holiday ever because that's when I get so creative. I like to create my own costumes, my own creepy things, and plus I also like to scare the little children because if you scare little children and when they uh drop their candy, score one for Larry. Even though it's a little bit mean, but hey, hey, <laughs> usually, usually it's just chocolate and stuff it's not all the sweet shit they drop because <laughs> mostly they they keep their they keep their bags and stuff but they sometimes drop a few um back in the, back in the 2000s they always they always dropped their whole entire bags and stuff it was so funny <laughs> so uh yeah all right this question is from Grizz, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say his last name because I don't know how to pronounce it. 
Um, Grizz asked me, why do we why do we breathe polluted air? Well, well, Grizz, the reason why we breathe polluted air is because of the chemical we find. <clears throat> excuse me, the chemical refineries, the exhaust from the from from cars and and the fumes coming from coming from the factories and ships and ex explosives re residue and quarries and other stuff. <coughs> oh man, it's so dusty. Ugh. So yeah. Um so so yeah and and plus and plus we're cutting down a lot of trees too so which is not really all that good. I mean yeah, some of us are helping the trees, but you know, sometimes the tree, sometimes people like to cut down trees because you know, more money, more moolah, more money, mo more moolah, you know. So yeah. Um, another one from Jocelyn Wayne. What is your favorite music journal? Or music? I'm not gonna even want to say the journal because I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, my favorite music is climatic music and rock and a little bit of hip-hop and hardcore rock and pop rock and pop punk and that's like basically it but my most favorite music is basically climatic music because it's amazing and i think i already answered this question already so i'm going to move along okay hey 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 there's a question from my man, Shut Up Archie. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, Shut Up Archie, let's see what you got me. Okay, what is the motto of your car? The motto car, the motto, my motto of my car is basically um, a Ford Focus LX. It's uh, 2000. It was made in the year of 2000. And I'm going to have to plug this in before this damn thing dies. I don't care if it affects my uh, auto, audio. So, what? Do you want to be in the video too? Okay, Rainbow Dash. You can be in the video too. Camera hog. What? Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so my uh, motto, the, the, the model of my car is basically a Ford Focus, 2000 Ford Focus LX, and it only has, and it only has, uh, 53, only 53,000 miles on it, which is still good, <laughs> because uh, it was passed down to my grandma, uh, passed down to me from my grandma from her, uh, will and stuff, so, yeah. Um, another one from Shut Up Archie. Do you like, do you like Saint Row? Okay, do you think Saint Row is better than GTA? Um, I know some people are probably gonna hate me for this, but yes, I mean, don't get me wrong, GTA is still a good series, but I love the Saint, I love the Saints Row, Saints Row series a whole lot better, because. Because one, in Saints Row, you could change your character. You could change the sex in your character. You could change. You could change the. You could change your uh, appearance of your character. You could customize your character for the story mode, and they could speak. And it's not like and uh, without going online and becoming you know one of the characters that the game provides you. In in this game, they they literally they literally let you customize your own character, give you give you options to customize your own eye color into like any 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 color you want. You could have demon black eyes, demon white eyes, doesn't really matter. They could even give you uh, they'll even give you a choice to put like elf ears on your character, which is cool. And yeah, um. 
it also changed the skin color from from uh, white to chrome. I mean, liter literally, you, you could become like a chrome person, a person made out of chrome. It's amazing. And yeah, um, and and then um, you could change the voices of your character and um, the voices of your character, it could be uh, it could be like American voice, American accent. Um, a Russian accent, which is my favorite one. My favorite one is the Russian because it's so it's so funny, and including including the including the including the black including the black accent, the African American black uh the the African American accent is amazing. <laughs> I mean it's so funny too, including the North uh North Napoleon or whatever you want to call it. I forgot what I forgot what it's called. Oh no, Northern Northern Can Canadian. There's also a Northern Canadian voice too, which is awesome too. Um, but for the female, there's the American version. There's the Chinese. Oh, I want to say Chinese, an Asian version, and then there's, and then there's the Russian version. The Chinese one is. I mean, the Asian one is so funny. The Russian one is like. Actually, very creepy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, she, she, um, I mean, it's, it is, it is funny, but also creepy at the same time. I mean, so I like, I like to do the, if I, if I ever, like, become, like, a guy, or if I ever do, like, a guy character, i rather have, I'll have a Russian accent for the guy, because it's so very funny and hilarious. The way the way how he uh, the way how he um, set talks to the talks to the bad guys uh, like I love a good fight yeah boom and other stuff <laughs> so yeah I think I think it is I think it is Russian or or Australian I'm not really sure to be honest but yeah and and then the cars the cars there. They're really good. They don't really get messed up as easily at easy as easier that they do in GTA. I mean, uh, yeah, you're still gonna get shot at and you're still gonna get killed in a car, but still, you're gonna be you're gonna be just fine. And and um, that's like basically it. I mean, but there is one thing but there is only one thing about uh Saints Row I wish Saints Row has that uh that uh that GTA five already have is basically a cam camera is cam a camera change a changing option. Cause you all you are is basically a third person um while outside of a car and inside of a car, you can't change cameras inside a car. You're still going to be in a third person mode, which is sad, but still cool. Um, so, yeah. So, that's the reason why I like Saints Row a little bit better than GTA. Because you don't, you don't have to go online either just to change the character, to change the sex, or change the, the character and stuff. You could, you know, you could just be like, you know create your own person create your own uh, personality which is cool all right next one is from Ezio how to impress girls well I'll be honest with you um how you actually impress a lady is basically just be yourself. Women love it when you be yourself and you just be open up and and just be open up to conversations and you know talking about your life and listening to them and and so forth. And and I'm not really I'm not really good with uh I don't really know how uh, 
women work and and where you live, I think it's I think it's Italy where you live, right, Ezio? You live in Italy? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He lives in Italy. Yeah. What am I thinking about? Yeah. So since you live in Italy, um, do um. I would say, you know, just be directly honest with her, be nice to her, be calm, and, you know, just be yourself, be funny. Um, if you're a poet, write her a poem, uh, give her roses, chocolates, or, um, and if you're a singer, sing her a song. That's how you basically could impress a, that's how you could impress a girl, and, and hey, and, uh, and I think that's how you impress uh, Italian women too. I believe. I'm, I mean, I'm not really that. I'm not really sure because I don't live in. I don't live in Italy. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Like I said, just be yourself and be very gentle. Be kind and just be you. And everything will be just fine as you. All right. And that's basically all the questions I have. Um, so I hope you guys are are happy with all the answers that I gave you. And and um, Ezio, if you're watching this, if you. Uh, like like I said, if you really want to impress a impress a, a girl, um, and if you have your eye, and if you have your eye on this one girl, on this one particular girl, you're uh, you're trying to impress. Like I said, just be yourself. Go up there, say hi, and start a conversation. And there you go. And if she doesn't like you, well, you guys could just be friends. <laughs> I mean. I mean, I have a bunch of girls that are just friends with me, so it's, it's all right. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys are all satisfied with all my uh, answers, and uh, yeah, just keep on asking your questions for this uh, video, for videos like this, and um, yeah. Um, so if you like this video, please put a like. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment down there below. And if you want to see my videos in the future, please subscribe. This is Larry, and I'm out.